despite what we just went over, wouldn't you say this contradicts your account of the incident? I'm not sure what you mean. No, Yagami-san is currently the odd one here. Oh, if you'll allow me to read... I know. Oh, if you'll allow me to. Despite what we just went. I know. Oh, if you'll allow me to. Despite what. I know. Oh, if you'll allow me to. Despite what we just went over. Would you say this contradicts your account of the incident? I'm... not no. Oh, if you'll allow me to... Well, a stupid... He was... Is that... According to the video... What? He killed Donnie. Fukushima and his kid was about to graduate, so Ahara took it upon That's himself. Awful. But now we come back to the issue here. If this footage is authentic, then Ahara-san couldn't have been your assailant. The victim's estimated time of death and Ahara-san's time of arrival in Tokyo simply don't allow for it. It's just not possible for someone to make that commute. But there's the flip side. If Ahara-san was, in fact, your assailant, it would mean this murder footage is a fabrication. I don't know what you expect me to say after all this. Right? Now you know how we're feeling. That's why we came to see if you had any leads for us. So that's what this is about. After hearing your story, I have no doubt you endured a lot that day. Which would obviously mean that murder video is faked. Then, who shared that video? And why? I wish I knew. Based on the quality, something this convincing would need quite a budget. Whether it's CG on top of real murder footage, or just a rock-solid AI creation. No one, so why go through all this effort to fake a murder? Who would benefit from it? But I have to say, I feel much closer to piecing this puzzle together with your help today. Thank you very much for your time. Yes, and rest assured, this will be the last time you see us. Our apologies for the unexpected visit. And for dredging up unpleasant memories. It's fine. So long as this is really the end of it all. I'd like to report Mommy Islan's account to the rest of the team. Can I count on you to be there? Sure. Let me give Kaito-san a heads up. All right. Then I'll see you there. Yo, it's me. Hey, I just got back to Combo Joe. Everything good? All good here, man. I mean, they did run. Anyway, I'm heading to the bar. <laughs> you do. Yeah, I'm not too stupid. Are we ready, Yagami? So let's start. Yeah, let's start. So the victim's story is completely in line with her court testimony, huh? That's correct. There wasn't anything new to pick up. Unfortunately. In which case, should we look into the murder video instead? Like, figure out how they made it? Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Whether that takes fake or real, someone had to put it online, right? Do we have any theories on who that might be? Well, the footage showed enough of the surroundings to make the crime scene clear. As somebody who's been there, I can confirm that the blood splotches match what you see in the footage. That prosecutor in charge of the harassment case, Takano was it? He posted Mikoshiba's murder footage online to ruin Ahara's reputation. Why would he need to ruin him? Do you really have that low of an opinion of prosecutors? I agree. That doesn't make much sense. Yeah, I don't think it makes uh, any... Hey, this... 
Ahara posted the video himself. Uh, Ahara's been under police or court surveillance for the past two months straight. Maybe he set it up as a delayed upload, where the video automatically got posted and spit. Did he really think that far ahead? Although, I guess it sounds more reasonable if he had acted alone. That's true. The murderer's accomplices have to be the ones who posted it for him. Yeah. I can't see it any other way. I also agree with Yagami-san. But in that case, what would their motive be? Maybe they wanted to make a mockery of the police, or even the whole system. Huh? We know Ahara got himself convicted for groping, so he had an alibi for Mikoshiba's killing. But then, his conspirators turned it around by uploading the murder video online. Almost as if to say, look how he got away with it. I see. Yeah, that does make it sound like he's taunting them. That's well and good, but I'd like to shift gears. Let's talk about the actual fabrication of the video. How does one go about that? Well, for example, the true culprit would be taped murdering Mikashiba. Then Ihara's face would be copied and blended onto the killers. That's how they'd approach it in a Hollywood movie. But then, wouldn't you be able to see traces of it being faked? Tsukumo yeah. san reported that he's found nothing of the sort in his analysis. We've been down this road before. If we take the stance that the footage is fabricated, we have absolutely nothing to work with. Then let's tackle this from the stance that the video is actually real. If that's the case, there has to be a flaw in the groping issue. I think we've collected enough evidence to find it, too. Before meeting with Huey Mamiya, didn't you mention the possibility of Ahara using a stand-in? Perhaps the real Ahara murdered Mikoshiba in Ijincho, then swapped places with the imposter so he could be detained. But we couldn't find an opportunity for the swap to happen, remember? From the moment he set foot on the Ikebukuro platform, Ahara was constantly on camera. But wait, that's not entirely accurate, is it? Huh? What are your thoughts on this video? I mean, other than it being extremely unsettling? I'm honestly a bit confused as to why you're bringing it up now. Yeah. Take a look at this. Um, sad, yeah. which... Take a look at this. Um, sad as... Yeah. Which... Take a look at this. Um, sad, yeah. which... Take a look at this. Um, sad, yeah. which... Remember how we mocked up a diagram on the Shinjuku station platform? Yeah. No, wait! That's it! You could be onto something. There's a point where Ahara wasn't on camera at all. What is this point you speak of? Let's all go over the diagram so that everything will be clear. Here's what I want you to see. Hey. It's very brief. But there's a moment where Ahara and Mamiya-san can't be seen by the security cameras. The dotted lines on the arrow represent the camera's blind spot. It does appear so. So you're saying... Can't say it's... Right. Except if that actually happened, Mamiya-san would have been right behind them at the time. Could the two really swap places without her noticing? A crowd like that? I think it's feasible. If that really was Ahara's plan, then I'd say he was being careless. Careless? How? Well, on the day of the incident, the station was packed for morning rush hour. That means there was no solid guarantee the assailant could make the switch. He could have been nailed by any random passerby before reaching the blind spot. Good point. Not only that, if Mamiya-san had called for help while the train was still moving, then the first Ahara would have been caught before even reaching the platform. Oh, I mean, yeah! Called it. Think about it, Yagami-san. Why would Ahara's accomplices meticulously plan out every last detail of this alibi, only to leave such a crucial component to chance? No, as just doing much true. 
Yeah? What if every new I'm saying, and that takes the question to another level. Just how far did they line up the pieces in advance to make the swap work? Are you saying there's more to it than we discussed? Every last bit of foot. If that's the, that's because. Why would the? Or maybe you're saying. All right. Was that no, all? Hang on. The horrors for them to be right. Mikush, them to that. I don't. So if you want it. Was that all? No, hang on. The horror for them to be right. Hero Mikush. Well, the body had been. Of course. Was that all? No, hang on. The horror for them to be right. I know this won't go over well. But what if Mamiya was colluding with Ahara all along? Huh? Bear with me. Let's say Mamiya was in on this and knew about the imposter in advance. If that's the case, the swap could happen right in front of her and no one but the three of them would know. You're saying the victim of a groping conspired with her assailant beforehand? That's ridiculous! No, not really. Let me just say, I'm only trying to work out how a swap like that would be guaranteed to work. Now, if Ahara and his stand in both know that Mamiya will pretend not to have seen them, they can trade places in the blind spot with impunity. Conversely, if Mamiya wasn't in on the plan, the idea of a swap would never work. We can say with certainty that she would have seen the swap, so... She could have even called attention to the real Ahara the moment he stepped in. That way, the people around her would be focused on chasing the correct assailant. The rest is as we know it. They caught Ihara and detained him until the police showed up. Hold that thought. If your theory is accurate, what about Ihara's trace evidence? Remember that fibers of the victim's underwear were detected on his hand. Well, for example, while the standard was showing himself at the security cameras, Mamiya could have easily provided Ahara access to a pair of underwear at the same time. Maybe the standard loitered. We can work out the other details later. The point is, Ahara's murder alibi is shot if Mamiya was involved. In summary, it's possible that Ahara disgraced himself to secure an unshakable alibi for him. I'll concede that it's an avenue worth pursuing. And when it comes to the prosecution, they can't just admit they got the first case so wrong. Plus, they can't question Ahara about Mikoshiba's murder. So he managed to make a farce out of the system after all. Well... His court case for his son's bullying did get more or less thrown out, didn't it? School, no surprise for me that the oh, guy... What's up? For we, the obvious chip here is also what? Yeah, or maybe it'll... To... What? I'll pull it home. What's that? If I'll buy it, a salvage me. That's true. Looks like a... once we learned... Let's originally from... Huh. Met her, her husband six years... Hold on. Didn't I just... That's say That's what it was. That's not what. Not wait. Yeah, what did you guys. Oh. I... When I went to scope out the murder scene, there were these three guys.